what movie does this car remind you of? The monster that devoured Cleveland. Cute, but, but no. Uh, Dirty Harry. Come on, yeah, it works. Yeah, well, it's the same platform. Dirty Harry drove a 72 Ford. This is a 78 Marquis, but they have the same big floater boater look. Exactly. You know why they call me Dirty Harry? Every dirty job that comes along. <laughs> All right, love, what about this one here? That's easy. That's Herbie the Love Bug. It's Herbie. These were built originally around the World War II time, and it was called a Kubel wagon. And they continued on and on and on, and here they are. What movie does this car remind you of? That's tough. If it was a, a Model T, it would be the Keystone Cops. You want a hint? Yeah. Bonnie and Clyde. Got it, got it. Wow. They drove a V8, no? They like the V8s. The V8s came later. This is uh, like a late 20s Model A, a four-cylinder car. But they pretty much took whatever was in their way. You're right. You know, and then later they preferred the V8s because they were faster for getaways. Hi. Hey, Ted. Hey, Dave Hopkins. I recognize you from uh, the internet. My boys came out and walked the car out for you. I'm looking forward to seeing it. It's one of my favorites. Is it? He's in love with my 65 Eldorado convertible. It's absolutely the most fun car I've got right now to drive. It's spectacular. From the interior to the color, the wide white wall tires. I mean, it looks like it rolled right out of the film. I understand this is a uh, replica of the Scarface. Oh, the Scarface Cadillac, right? Well, that yeah, well that's what caught my eye. Owning that piece of history would be special for me. There's not a lot of them around. You'll find the DeVilles around, but you don't really find the Eldos very often. And it's as straight as a gun barrel. Let's take it's a, a look. California car. It was restored in Arizona. It's got the zebra interior in it, and it's yellow, and it's beautiful, and it rides nice. You want to hear it? Good looking. I would love to. I fell in love with it. As soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. Simple stuff. Wow, it's clean. Oh, it's, it's, it's it is clean. I mean, I priced it at what I think is a fair price. I'm asking. Speaking of price, what are you asking for? 38.5, and I'm not embarrassed. You sure? Well, I'm really not embarrassed. I like it. Well, that's a little more than what I was thinking, but uh, I'll take the watch. Let's call it a day. I'll tell you what, I'm, I, I'm, I make quick decisions, OK? Uh -huh. I'll give you 28 for it right now, Cash. Ain't happening. This is one of my favorites in the whole place. I'll shake your hand to 34, and I'm done. Well, here, here's, here's my issue. We all have issues. I'm not a doctor. <laughs> I understand. It's not the exact year as a Scarface car. Sue me. Even is the. <laughs> I didn't... No, I'm just talking for value for me, okay? Uh, I don't think it matters. You know, a clone's a clone. Now, you were 38.5, now you're saying 34, you'll do it. That's it. I'll tell you what. 31.5, I'll shake your hand. You know, 34 is where I want to be. You're making me good offers. I really appreciate it. I know you for real. 33, I'll shake your hand. I'm done, bro. I'll tell you what. I will pay you your 33 with two provisions. I want the hat. If you, if you do that, I shake your hand. We got a deal. How am I going to look at a car with this hat, huh? I bought it. I paid a little more than I uh, was thinking. But when all is said and done, I'm, I'm happy. I think I made a, a reasonable deal. got a gentleman that represents an estate bringing over a Mercedes Cabriolet. It's a 250 SE, and he claims it's a beautiful California car, and uh, I'm excited to see it. Hey. Hi, Ted Vernon. Ted, hi, Scott Sim. Hi, Scott, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. The car's beautiful. Thank you. We only have uh, 48,000 miles on it. Did it spend its life in California? It did. Uh, I saw the plate. It's in Beverly Hills. Really? Original toolkit. Original toolkit. First and foremost, that's a California car, which is big in collector circles because they, they stay so well. If you looked under the trunk mat, there's no corrosion. It's a factory air car, and it was cold. I tested it. All the power windows work. Top is brand new. The leather's original. It has patina, but it's original. It's a pretty unmistakable sound. It's a 250 SE Cabriolet. It's a beautiful convertible. It's not as popular as the 280s because they were more powerful. I wish it was a 280. 
I do too. Yeah, really? I do too. You'd have about 25, 30 more grand. So Ted, you know, you've seen the car. You know, we're all business people here. What kind of offer can you make on this thing? I'd like you to give me a rock bottom number that I can work from. I can be safe and I'm done now paying you 50 grand. 50 is at the low end of where I want it to be. We'd be happy $55,000, dollars If I could pop this car for that right away, I'd be happy to. All right, but we got I a deal can't then, right? buy it for that. Fifty-five, fifty-six. No, no. Huh? Watch me. I can't buy it for that. I could probably sell it for that. I think he did his homework. He knew what his car was worth. And, you know, he wanted me to pay retail, which I can't do. Would you split the difference with me? Are you just tough five. with everybody? You 50 to 5. Are you why? Why? Oh, you, are you, you let me I, hang in one time. Come you're, on. You're too big. I'm not going to fight Come with on, you. Come on, Ted. No, I'm done. I'm on to five. I'm not doing it. At 50, I'm good. If not, I'm going to go back on my office and wait for you. Hey, here's, here's what I'd like to propose. Why don't we do it for $50,250? Can you do that? Scott, I got this. You like animals? I like animals. Good. I'm going to give you $50,000 and a beautiful deer head. We're done. I'm a serious heart attack. He's a very dear friend of mine. You got a deer head? Yeah. OK, we got a deal. You got it. You're a, you're a dear guy. <laughs> you're a dear guy. <laughs> he about wore me out where I was walking away. And if I'm telling you this is what I'm paying and I'm done, that's how I am. If I say it, I'm done, I'm done. Here's a deer head. Go away. I'll give you a deer head to leave. That's basically what happened. You thought I was kidding, didn't you? I love it. I love it. <laughs> There's a, oh, my wife's going to love this. She'll, she'll <laughs> probably think you're a real deer. I'm Mark Weinstein. I'm the uh, picture car guy for props for some of the shows down here in South Florida. Good to see Good you again. Hi. How are you? Good, good. good. What are you here for today? Um, we're going to do some reoccurring cars again. We're going to probably pick up a couple of the Volkswagens. Okay, and good. Um, maybe a couple pickup trucks. One of the shows that we're filming down here right now, we're doing a lot of Venice Beach. So we're doing a lot of the Volkswagens. We have one over here. I want to take that, the blue and white bug. Okay. I want to grab this uh, Ford probably, stick some surfboards on the top. And I'm probably going to take that old Suburban. That works. What about the other Aqua one over here? Yeah, I'm gonna t I took pictures of that. I think we're probably going to show it to the producers and see what we get out of it. And I'm also looking at the, um, the blue GMC that you guys just got in. I know you hate the, the nasty Suburban, yeah. the black Suburban. Yeah, we use that a lot, and that's usually nighttime or in the alley. The rustic look, the rustic nature of this yard that we go to to shoot, this truck is really for background. It's an old truck, and it's rusty, and it's hideous looking, but it shoots really, really well. It happens to look good on camera. So I think you pretty much have everything picked out, so I yep. think we're going to go negotiate we'll with Bossman. Talk to the old man, man yeah. All of our sales guys are super busy today. And I walked out there, I saw a, a really nice gentleman out there taking a look at our Dodge Tomator. Hi, welcome. My Robin. name's Michael. Michael, nice to meet you. I'm interested in this uh, vehicle. I have a candy store, North Miami Beach. Okay. And I think that would bring in a lot of kids who remember seeing the movie. It's a great car, it's got a great Chevy motor, and it's perfect for the gentleman that owns a candy store. It'll really bring in a lot of traffic and it's a perfect fit. You know, we haven't had it too long. Um, it's a car that I forbid Ted to buy. It's a clown car, which does attract kids. It's fun. It runs and drives excellent. It's been street rotted out. It has a, new, a later model uh, V8 Chevy motor in it. I'm super motivated to move this thing. It's, it's very rare that he came in and found this type of car. It's exactly what he needs. And, and it's one less clown car that I have to deal with. Most of the money was spent on probably the, the later conversion V8 Chevy motor inside. It's a beautiful car, just like the, from the movie. <laughs> exactly. Just like the 1951 Tomator. So how much were you asking for? We're asking 12.5. That's not going to happen. This is just going to be like a toy out in the parking lot for the kids to take a look at. I was looking more in the $8,000 range because it would be just to bring in kids. I'd honestly be happy at eight, but I'm gonna try to get them up to 10. I gotta move up on price a little bit. You're gonna oh. have so much fun with this. It'll bring so much business. First off, it was 8,000. How's 8,500 sound? I, I, I told you I'm firm at 10. And I'm not being difficult on you, it's just I know what these trucks bring. I can bring it to a show, throw another two grand on top of a pile and get a Ford Mustang that's gonna retail for 18. You know, it's gonna bring so much business, it's so much fun. I mean, you don't have to do anything to it. Basically, even like look, even more original, just like the real Tomator. My final offer, best offer, 9,000. 9,000 works. 9,000? 
the deal. Good. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Robin is a very tough negotiator, but she knows everything about cars and she knows what's right. And I think we both got a fair deal on it. I did it, finally. Another clown car gone, gone with the wind. I'm so happy it's gone. He's really going to have fun with it. It'll draw a lot of attention. He'll have fun with it over the years. And it doesn't matter if it falls apart, you can paint it, make it a prop, set it outside, let it rust, and it just gets more attractive and more fun. What's up, old man? What's going on? Robin said you already picked out what you like. Yes, I did. We uh, did a little walk around. Um, I want the old Volkswagen for my reoccurring. Okay. I think we're going to take the Suburban, the blue one. The blue one, OK. We're looking at that one. I took pictures of it. You saw the blue, the real beautiful one? I saw the GMC yeah. that was way in the back. The fun thing about Mark is he's an experienced guy. He goes out there, he picks his cars, he comes back, he says, I need this, 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 this. He's careful with them most of the time. And when he's not, he pays me. I want to use this one again in recurring. OK. And I'm still waiting for the uh, hubcap. It's my fault. I'm replacing the hubcap. You said that about my Packard. Yeah, this 48 Packard, four-door sedan, and they used it on the show, and the guys didn't know how to operate the vehicle properly, and they lost control of the car, and they went and hit a steak bed truck on the set, and it messed the hood up front end, and the worst part about it is you can't replace anything like that, but it's why we carry insurance. It covers the car. This will play good in um, one of our Mexicano scenes. Yeah, but well, you better hurry up. I sold it. Did you? Yeah. Damn it. I always get a good deal on them. I set a price with Ted, and I know I'm coming back for him, and he knows that it's reoccurring, so. He's happy with that because it's cash flow for him. And we move the cars for him. See the dummy? Yeah, I see the dummy. <laughs> I see two of them now. Oh, that's very nice. I got him in a mental hospital. Did you really? Yeah, he's a manic and depressive. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> manic Love what you did with manic your Manic and depressive. Yeah, come on, let's go. We got, I got things I got to do today. <laughs> like write me a check. This time he picked a Suburban, and there's a VW that's got a recurring role in his show, so we picked that, and a couple of other beachy style cars. Uh, you know, I don't go look at it. I, I just get paid. My favorite, Ted, my really? favorite. Everyone's favorite. It's a 57 Porsche Speedster, super rare. This one has a bench seat. It's one of a handful made. Came from California. This was a star of a movie car, too. Really? Yeah. Which one? I would. I'll give you a hint. The star of the movie looked like me. Schwarzenegger? <laughs> no. He had blue eyes. I, did, I don't recall. The movie's HUD with Paul Newman. Oh, OK, now I remember it. All right, Robin, which one does this remind you of? A 50 Ford? Uh, Can I give you a hint? I, I'm, I'm lost. Yeah, it's ahead. a club coupe. It has the long back on it, where you can put, like, alcohol or whiskey or anything in the back. Thunder Road. Robert Mitchell? Yeah, I wouldn't know that. This is a V8. Yeah, but they, they were, were they all V8s or V6? No, no, they had sixes. You could tell. By the emblem on the hood, C V A. Oh, exactly. Yeah, so that was born an eight. And if it was a six, it would have been a six. It's usually red, no? Colored red. Usually. Exactly. Yeah. Probably was 40 years ago. So, Ted, what movie does this car remind you of? Well, if you were sitting in it, it would have to be American Graffiti with the most beautiful woman Aww, in the car. Sweet. This is the exact car, you know. It's a 57 It is? Exactly. So, yeah, it's exactly. beautiful. Oh, rats. I thought a couple of my friends would be here. It's probably a couple of weeks past their bedtime. 